Welcome back everyone. In this video, I will discuss how to get the employee list from AppRite and to display that list in our Flutter app. First of all, in the pubspec.yml file, I have taken cache network image dependency. Then, in the AppRite provider, in the earlier video, I have created a function delete employee image and in the file id i have passed id.unique instead of id.unique we need to pass the file id which i am passing okay so here we need to pass this particular file id so you need to make the change in your project accordingly after that i have i have created a function get employees which is returning future of document list and by using the database object here i have called the list documents method and here I am passing the database ID and the collection ID and after that I am returning the response. Now let me move to auth repository. In the auth repository here I have created the get employees function which in turn is calling the get employees of AppRite provider. After that in the data folder I have created a subfolder named as models and here I have created a file named as employee model and here I have declared these variables name, department created by, image created at and here I have created two function what is uh, one is from map and the second one is to map. Now let me move to home controller. In the home controller you can see that it is extending the getx controller with state mixing list of employee and after that here I have created the list of employee object which is initialized with empty value. In the on ready method here I have called the get employee method. This get employee method I have created here. This method is declared as async and inside the try I have used change and in the change I have passed rx status dot loading. This means still the data is being loaded from app right. This uh, loading indicator will be displayed. After that by using the auth repository I have called the get employees function and if it is successful then all the values will be stored in this value which is of type document list. And on this value I am calling the to map method which is ultimately giving me the map of data. Okay. And to this map of data I am calling the to list method which is giving me the list of data. And after that in the employee list I am storing d dot map and after that employee dot from map. So ultimately the data will be stored in employee list and uh, and here I have called the to list method as well. After that I have called this rx status dot success this means the data is fetched successfully and in the catch error as usual here I have checked if the error is of type app write exception then this will be displayed else this will be displayed and in the catch block also I have displayed this. Okay. Now let me move to home view. In the home view, here you can see in the body I have used controller.obx and after that here I have used list view separated, then padding is there, separated builder I have used, physics I have used in the item builder I have used the list style and in leading I have used the size box with width and height is this. And as a child of this size box, I have used cache network image. And in the image URL, I have passed apparate constant dot endpoint storage bucket because ultimately the image will be stored in this particular location in apparate. So I have specified this entire location as you can see. Like this, we need to specify the image URL. After that, there is a placeholder error widget for the cache network image. In the title, I have used the employee name. In the subtitle, I have used the employee department. And in the trailing, I have used two icon buttons. One having the icon as edit and another one having the icon as delete. Okay, This means whenever I will click on edit, I can edit the employee. And whenever I will click on delete, I can delete the employee. And in the item count here, I have specified state dot length. In the on loading, I have specified circular prog progress indicator. In the on error in the center I have displayed a text widget and in the text widget this error will be displayed and if it is empty then in the center a text widget will be displayed having the text as no post found fine. Now let me auto restart this and let me show you the output then you can see this employee list is displayed here the image is displayed the employee name is displayed the department is displayed and the edit and delete icon is displayed. This is how we can fetch the employee list from AppRite 
and to display that list in our Flutter app. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching.